Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I am just here for a quick second today. I won't keep you long like I have been doing recently with some of my reviews and unboxings. But I wanted to share with you this really cool little pencil case and just briefly mention my mother's, well these are both Mother's Day gifts. Um, my oldest daughter asked what I wanted and I said a pencil pouch. I gave her a um, one from Etsy, a link to that. And they were out, so she found this one that was nearly identical. And um, originally I thought I would use it for my new leather tote bag to carry around pens and pencils and so forth. And then I decided I maybe wanted something um, a little shallower for that. So I repurposed this now to be a envelope or a pouch to carry personal correspondence. I have a few people that I send things to and they write to me and we do a little happy mail items and so our cards or letters so what I'm going to do is keep the stuff in here until I have responded to them right now my friend Kim is waiting for a response from me for the nice package she sent me um she used to be my neighbor so we've kind of decided to be snail mail pen pals kind of keep that alive so with my um, Amazon card, I was uh, fortunate to receive a few for Mother's Day from some of my kids and my husband. I decided to look for a smaller pen pouch that would hold my fountain pens securely. So this would work for that, but I was afraid they might um, kind of bounce around too much in there. And it's pretty deep. So I was just kind of scrolling through, you know, looking at pen pouches and pencil cases and so forth. And I saw the Fjall Robin Konkin one. I have a little mini backpack of theirs or the, like that really tiny one. I don't even know if it's called the mini. It's more like a shoulder bag. But when I saw this, I'm like, yes, I really want that. I know I would use it. I like the compact size. I like that it's kind of durable. And I just thought it would be a fun place to hold a few of my everyday pens. So I have just embarked on the journey of fountain pens. Um, I've gone with the Twisby, although I have one Lamy on order. I just like the clear to this. I like the shape. I like that they're an everyday pen and not necessarily fancy, but a little bit fun and unique as far as typical pens go. So I wanted to be able to carry those around the house, wherever I'm journaling, and just keep them close without a big deal. I used this um, Uniball Signo white gel pen quite often with journaling if I'm writing on craft paper or decorating a craft cover on a traveler's notebook insert. Uh, yesterday I sent a letter to a friend that was a craft envelope, so I wrote with this and then just covered it with packaging tape to make sure it wouldn't smear. And then my everyday ballpoint pen is just this Paper Mate profile and it's the wider, it looks like it's 1.4 or something. I really like a broader ink flow, whatever you call it. And I also typically use a um, Pilot G210 gel pen for journaling. So anyway, there's just a few. I have a couple more fountain pens going and I just think this is the perfect size because it's going to hold what I use all the time so I can take this or keep this handy and not have to keep looking for those pens. And, and again, I just wanted to keep the fountain pens safe. So let me take these out. I was thinking after I bought it, I'm like, is this a authentic Konkin? Uh, Fjall Robin or you know is it one of those products that kind of mimic it but they're not as good and I thought well it was $20 which maybe is a lot for a little pencil case but I, I like the way these are constructed and I opened it and I thought well it seems well made even if it isn't authentic but I looked for some of the things that I have heard are good signs of an authentic product from them and that is that these seams here are finished this is a really heavy duty seam binding, um, is what I would call it. It's got a little bit of a lighter weight, sort of like a windbreaker fabric on the inside. It's got the fox. So it's all finished. It doesn't look loose or junky inside. And it has these little 
things here. But I guess are covering maybe the ends of the zipper. <clears throat> so I looked at it and I thought, well, it feels like my backpack. I like this. I think it's called Cool Forest, something like that. Um, I like this color. And I, I, I don't know, I, it just settled well with me. So I thought, well, if it's not authentic, I'm okay with that for just 20. And then I th thought, you know, the Swedish flag is supposed to be on there. So I didn't see it. And I thought, well, maybe, whatever. I'm going to hang on to it. Then last night I was looking around, putting something in here. And lo and behold, on the back, there is the little Swedish flag. So I'm assuming that makes this authentic. It does say Konkan on the inside. It does say fjallrobin.com, but it was made in Vietnam. So, and I think I've heard that they don't make, necessarily make all their products, if at all, in Sweden, but it is a Swedish company. And I have a friend in Sweden, and I'm kind of drawn to Swedish things, um, as I'm aware of them because of that. Also, it looks like a beautiful country that I'd love to see someday. So anyway, I just thought you might like to see that. If you need just a little pouch that's durable, I think you might like this. If you like the Fjall Robin products, um, it does have the authentic zipper. See, it's got Fjall Robin on there and the little fox. So I think it's good. But anyway, this is was on Amazon. And I just bought it like a little while ago with my Mother's Day gift card. So you might be able to find one if you're interested. Thanks for watching. That's all for now. We'll see you next time. Bye.